What is going on, everybody? It is I, Cobra, and we're back with another video. Now, I know next week is the release of the Air Jordan 11 Cherry. So that is why I decide that we will do a story time on the 2019 Air Jordan 11, the Bread 11s, the Playoff 11s, whatever you want to call them, and tell you how I got them and the process of getting by. By the way, these are the only shoe I have ever camped out for and successfully camped out for ever. I camped out for these once, the only shoe I ever camped out for, and that was it. Everything else was just online. But if you are here for this story time, make sure you guys hit that like button and that subscribe button and share this video, of course. And without further ado, the intro. So this is what happened at the end, towards the middle of November, because the shoe came out December 14th of 2018. So middle of, the, of November, me and my buddy, shout out K-Mac, we were trying to get these shoes because this is a shoe we were trying to figure out. And at the time I was working at the mall. So the mall had countless of sneaker stores that you know, I asked some questions. I asked where some places first come, first serve. They didn't give me an answer. It was very a uh, cat and mouse type type game. Uh, until one day, K-Mac told me at that time, uh, back then it was called Kicks USA, but now it's called Snipes. It said Snipes is doing first come, first serve. Now, I'm like, I'm like, I'm already, I already had this planned out. I we already had a place where we could possibly go, a location to get this uh, shoe. I was more excited on getting these in hand because I've always seen pictures of these all over. I just never had them in hand ever. So, take these out of the box actually. So, uh, and I, I think I might be the only one that still has a pair. Cause I got to my buddies a pair. So after you found out that uh, Snipes was first come first serve, we did around, looked around our out of our area, out of our neighborhood to see which one could we get to uh, first in time on that day. Cause the shoot came out at 10 a.m. on a Saturday and out of there's a lot of people that wants this this shoe. In 2019, I, this was my this was my grail, and I still have this, and all my other shoes that I have. <clears throat> so, while we're doing all our investigation and everything, I forgot that at this time where I used to live, there was a sneakers. There was a uh, kick. There was a snipes. Where I, where I used to live, which was right around the corner, which was around the corner. So the day before what I would do, what I did was I went around just to the, to the plaza where the store was at and see if there was anybody lined up. Cause my plan was I would get up at around seven in the morning and walk around there and if there was a line I would go home because I'm not staying in line and if there wasn't a line then I'm grabbing a shoe and it just so happens that day the day before since the shoe came on Saturday the day before I actually got paid I actually got paid that day so I was very very excited to get this to get these shoes so there's that there's that now at this time I'm the line. I'm the line guy. It's raining. It's cold. I'm at this point. I am by myself because I'm in one area and my buddy. He's in another area. So at this time, I call up my buddy. Came back. I said, "Yo, where where you at?" 
either well the location I'm, I'm at is so crowded there's a line wrapped around the store i was like well you should come to where i'm at he said well where are you at i gave him where i gave him the location where i was at and i told him it's just me and about five people and he's like are you serious i said yo it's just me and five other people in line for these sneakers he said okay send me that send me the address i'm on my way i said all right cool so he gets there i'm patiently waiting i'm looking around i don't see him because he took an uber but i was in front i'm trying to mainly stay in front you know i'm not trying to move lose my spot in line or what have you uh and then then uh my other buddy he also wanted these as well so he called me he's like yo man you made it to the store already i said nah they haven't opened the store yet at this time they haven't opened the store so i'm just waiting for the open store do we do do what we got to do and everything which was this is my first experience of actually camping out for shoe so i told my my other buddy the same like the same thing i told came i said it is a small amount of people here you can easily get your pair and he said which one told me at told him the which location he was here he was there in like less than five minutes everything was coming to a plan everything was working in my direction i'm i'm managing to get help my two two buddies get a pair of air jordan 11 brands right and then Something really stupid happens. Sorry, I got thirsty. But something really, really stupid happens. Now, I am the leader of this line. I am first in line waiting for the store to open, which the store doesn't open till 10. I am there three hours early standing in rain and it's cold and I just want to go to fuck home and get these shoes and go back to sleep. At this time, this black SUV just shoots out like out of nowhere, like angrily, you know? And I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna get shot. I thought I, sw I, thought I was gonna get shot over some shoes or whoever first getting a bullet like I that's what I thought they come out and they come out and wait before that I forgot to mention that when I the day before when nobody was out there I did notice that there were three little baby chairs and I was wondering, who the fuck put baby chairs out here? Like, you better have babies. Like, watch. Watch the store. That's not that at all. So, these guys come up. And they're like, yo, you, uh, you're on our spot. I'm like, What? Like, I'm highly pissed because I'm like, bro, where you come from? You was not very, you was not here. I've been here for three hours. Shit, at this time, at this point, I was here for, yeah, three hours because it was almost 10 o'clock at this time when they, when they, when they come up, right? So, they just stand in front of me. Like, hey, like, yeah, you got to move. I'm not moving. And I'm also about to get fucking beat up over some fucking sneakers either but um, so they stand in front of me and at this point the employees of snipes have already given tickets to the people that was already aligned like before the people right so they open the door they see they see it was three it was three people it was three dudes or like it was three dudes and he was like, yo, where y'all come from? Like, oh, we've been here since this morning. 
what time because they just wouldn't have anything. He was here this morning. I saw him this morning. And he's like, well, we put our stuff, we put our chairs here, which they use chairs as like a space, like they, like a place of line, which I don't like. People that stay in the line and use something for their for a place in line is like really stupid. I don't like that. So <clears throat> the manager had like a quick thought, and like what should I do? So basically, she was like, I don't want nobody to get really hurt. I don't want nobody to fight over no pair of shoes. So she just let the people that was in front of me go first, even though. I was first, but all I prayed for was that they didn't take any, any 12, any 12 at all. And they didn't, they just, they just grabbed like a lot of nines and tens, like each since it was three people, since it was three people. I grabbed a size 12, I paid my money and then what the fuck, and then what the hell home. Cause that was it, and then I called my buddy, to make sure he got his pair, cause he was a little far behind, and he likes his feet was a lot smaller than mine, so they the smaller feet was kind of going by the time I was getting out, and I had, I had to get out of there. It's my first time, it was my first time ever camping out, and the worst part about it, the crazy part about it was they had like hot chocolate and coffee, no hot chocolate coffee and um. And donuts from Dunkin' Donuts, like sit out for people that 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 camped out, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, man. And for the as far as the Cherry Elevens go, I I won't be getting them. I'm actually gonna take a break from Cobbins sneakers for quite a while, and I might take a little break from this as well. I hasn't I have not been as consistent as I want to be. And the crazy thing is, I really want to be consistent. I just got a lot, a lot going on right now. I apologize for that. But I do want to say thank you to the new subscribers. I haven't posted a video in less than two weeks, almost three weeks. And I look and look so we have new subscribers. We are we went from 328 to 331. Thank you guys so much. But that's the end of story time. And that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for stopping by it is of course cobra and i will catch you guys in the next one peace